Okay, here we go. With, uh, this is another scenario. Uh, let's say all you've got is a left and right track. Um, so this is a split track, click going left, track going right. Um, and how to transfer that into a track that's going to work on our system, a stereo track. So um, if we play this, uh, this is how we pan here. Click in the center of the circle, drag down, goes left. That's our click. Push up, goes right. And that's our track. Cool. So the thing we need to do now is... Um, we need to separate these two things. Um, so uh, click is easy. Um, click is easy, you just pan that to the left. All that you'll get is click, well, and the guide in this case. Um, and then you just hit, actually you can bounce that in place. Go region, bounce in place. Uh, just call it whatever do its thing cool uh, oh, I'm gonna have to bring that back in there shouldn't have done that cool so uh, that's got your click just undo a couple of steps. Uh, Command Z, undo your best friend. Um, and then what I'll do is copy that down there. So I've got two of them. I don't really yeah, I should have renamed it, but, um, just for the purposes of showing you. Um, but in this case, with this one, I'd be making a new click with it anyway, so I wouldn't really bother about the click. Uh, the, the trickier one is uh, getting your track out of it. So it's all good. We pan right. Um, this is for solo, by the way. That plays only what solo. Um, cool. So then I can bounce that in place as well. Uh, cool, uh, so the problem with doing this is now because I've panned it to the right hand side um, it's only going to come out the right hand side so you can see there my wave pattern that everything's on the bottom because it's all coming out the the right hand side, that one's all going left, so it's all up, that one's all down. Um, which, I mean, it's okay for the, the track to be mono, but we're running stereo, uh, sorry, for the click to be mono, but we're running stereo track, so we really don't want to have that just coming out the right hand side. So what we need to do to that is come to inserts, um, to remember what we use, yep, uh, Use so many different things. Uh, imaging is what I want, and I want stereo spread. Cool. Uh, so what that's going to do is it's going to take this mono track, and it's going to spread it back to stereo. In theory. Got the other one. Take that song off. So you can see down here, now you've got a left and right hand side. Um, what generally happens is it tends to go, see it's more on the right there than the left. Uh, so what I can do is just pan that back to balance that out normally. Um, what you want to do with this is really have it plugged into your system so that you can do this by ear. Because um, like everything else, you don't want to do it vi visually. You need to do it um, by what you hear. Uh, right now, I don't have it plugged into the system, but if I say I, I did that and I found a good balance, so here, slightly to the left around there, um, 
then I could set that um, and then I can just bounce that in place again call it whatever I want to call it in my thing um, yeah so so everything you want to do by ear rather than visually whether it's EQing um, or, or setting up stuff like this always do it by what you hear so it's always good to have it plugged into your full system uh, so you can hear it at full volume the way it's gonna sound when you do it um, and yeah rather than trying to do it just with computer speakers or, or even headphones he'd, you'd be surprised the difference um, between doing something through headphones and doing it through the full system it's a whole different ball game but quite simply that's what we've done we've now got click and um, solo the blend tricks um, we've now got a click and a trick so they've been separated um, and those now um, are ready to go across into the other project screen uh, just on doing them this way uh, this track will, won't sound as good as if you do it the other way with proper things because you've had to get in here and you've had to you know make it mono and then take it back to stereo uh, the sound quality is generally not as good on these ones um, but that's why we buy the proper ones from multitracks.com um, so I think that these are available as well but they're the cheaper version um, so they're the uh, I think they're like seven bucks or something compared to 49 for the for the full version uh, with all the separate stems which but they are always going to sound better than these ones but sometimes you know um, this is all you can get hold of or something like that and you just got to make it work and that's how you do it so that is now all ready to go um, but yeah you can see because I've just winged this you can see it's still more on the right than it is on the left there um, but yeah just something you got to work with Cool. Done.